Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the introduction to conic section. This topic is an important topic for those students na katulad mo who are taking up the STEM strength. Lalo lalo na kung subject mo ay pre-calculus. And also, this one is an important topic for those students who are taking up analytic geometry as their subject. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, for sure, you're wondering bakit siya tinawag na conic sections. Basically, yung four conic sections or four conics na pag-uusapan natin dito ay derived sila sa code, sa isang code, or sa, dal sa isang dalawang code. Okay? So let's try having the first one. Yung muna natin, natin pag-uusapan ay yung tinatawag natin circle. Okay, circle. At yung una natin topic for the conic section. Ngayon, paano na de-derive? ang circle. So as you can see, I have here two different cones pero mag-focus lang tayo sa isang cone. Sa isang cone natin, meron tayong slant height at meron tayong base na sa ilalim. Ngayon, we can derive a circle. Imagine that this one is a plane. Let's say for example, we have a plane. We can derive a circle if this plane intersected this cone and this plane is parallel. Again, parallel to the base of the cone. Again, we can create a circle when the cone is intersected by this plane and the plane is parallel to the base of this cone. And kung gagamit kayo ng partition plane, you can draw a circle like this. Ito yung circle natin. So again, um, ang conditions dito, kailangan kapag may intersect ng plane, Dapat, ito ay parallel, again, parallel to the base of the code. So, that's it for the circle. Now, let's move on with the second one. The second one, ay tinatawag natin parabola. Now, pagdating sa parabola, ang nakikita nyo ngayon ay um, this one is a parabola na mayroong upward orientation o kaya yung kanyang opening ay upward. Ngayon, paano tayo makapag-derive ng parabola out of a single cone? So as you can see, um, yung parabola natin dito, it is derived when this plane intersected the cone and it touches the base of the cone. Kapag na-intersect ng plane natin yung cone at tumama sa mismong base ng cone. And kung makapansin yung difference, they're different. Ito, uh, it doesn't touch the, the the base of the cone. Ito, yung parabola natin, to derive the parabola, you will intersect a plane to the cone and matatamaan yung base na meron tayo. So that's why it is a parabola. Ngayon, uh, pwede kayo makakit sa ating pag-uusapan, you can encounter different orientations. Ito yung tsura ng isang parabola kapag nalagay natin sa isang partition plane or sa isang uh, X and Y coordinate plane. So you can experience or you can um, see this one is a, an upward parabola pero makakita rin kayo ng parabola na ang orientation ay downwards and that opens to the left part of the partition plane at nag-open din sa right side. So marami kayo may encounter dito. We have, we have four different parabolas here. And next, let's have the third one. The third one, I think tawag natin ellipse. Okay, ellipse. Now, as for the ellipse, and as you can see, um, this one is derived from a single cone. Ngayon, sir, paano po siya? Uh, parang circle din po. No, they are different. Itong ellipse natin, as you can see, they, they, are, they have the different orientations compared to the circle. In circle, uh, we intersected the cone and this plane is parallel to the base. While itong ellipse naman, it intersected the cone, again, it intersected the cone, pero it doesn't touch the base of the cone. Ang pinagkaibang nila, paslan, and the plane is not parallel to the base of the cone. Again, paslan siya, 
Kaya ibig sabihin niya, hindi parallel yung plane natin na nag-intersect sa base na meron tayo. And usually, sa ating ellipse, mas mahaba yung part na to, mas mahaba yung part na to compared dito. Okay? So, ito naman yung magiging tsura ng isang ellipse kapag nilagay natin siya sa isang partition plane. So, pa, yung orientation nito, um, pag ganito, mas pwede nilagay nyo maka-encounter ng ellipse na pag ganito yung orientation. Okay, that's it for the ellipse. Now, let's have the fourth one. We have the hyperbola. Sa hyperbola, madali nyo na nga siya matatandaan. Dalawang opposite ano siya, dalawang opposite na parabola. Ngayon, paano na de-derive ang isang hyperbola? So as you can see, uh, kung i-compare mo siya sa first three conic sections natin, we have the circle, the parabola, and the ellipse. Gumamit lang tayo ng single code. Now as for the hyperbola, again, as for the hyperbola, meron tayong dalawang cones na may intersect nitong plane natin. Kapag nag-intersect itong plane natin, again, itong plane natin, sa cone na to, and this plane is perpendicular to the base of the cones, therefore, itong dalawang ito ay tinatawag natin hyperbola. Okay? Ito ngayon yung magiging tsura ng hyperbola natin. Sure, meron pa bang hyperbola na yung orientation ay pataas ako ba? Yes, may encounter na yan sa ating discussion. Now, as a summary guys, summary sa natin, we can create a circle through the use of a single cone if the plane intersected the cone and that is perpendicular to the base. And that is the circle. We can create a parabola when it intersected the cone, single cone, and it touches the base of the cone. And that is your parabola. We have the up, uh, that opens upward, opens downward, left, and right side of the Cartesian plane. Third, we have the ellipse. As for the ellipse, uh, we will intersect a cone in slant position, but hindi niya tinatouch yung base ng mismo cone. And last one, yung ating hyperbola, when the plane uh, intersected two different cones perpendicularly, we can form the hyperbola. So, that's it guys for the introduction to conic sections. I hope you learned something from this video because um, sa akin, na, napansin ko lang, nung tinuro ko itong mismong conic section, though in-explain ko siya, marami pa rin mga bata ang hindi nakaka-realize how to derive or paano to derive. Yung tinatawag natin yung conic sections na circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. And I hope na nakuha mo lang kahit konti yung importance ng video na to. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!